let's say you have red yellow and green and you have those three treatments and 10 observations for each so totally you are going to have 30 observations degree of freedom will be 29 so this is total degree of freedom 29 minus 2 because there are three treatments so two degrees of freedom 27 so mean square error will be sum of squares due to error so this will be 288 times 20 this becomes 180 divided by 3 is 60 and this becomes 60 divided by 20 is 3 now to find p value we can use equals f d i s t f distribution with 3 and then these two degrees of freedom Point zero six four. So p value, if you look at the confidence level, this will be equal to one minus zero point zero six four. So your confidence level is uh, less than ninety four percent. If you want a confidence level of ninety five percent, then you would say that the variable is not significant enough. If the variable is not contributing significantly, that means the means will be equal degrees of freedom for within treatment so this must be 16 so 64 divided by some value x is 16 so x equals 64 by 16 which is 4 so this is 4 and 100 minus 64 is 36 and then 36 divided by this degrees of freedom is 2 so this must be 18 and total degrees of freedom is 22 within treatment degrees of freedom is 18 three treatments total of 15 observations if you add this is 160 and because there are three treatments total of 15 so this is 14 degrees of freedom and this is 2 degree of freedom so 2 the mean square between treatments so if you extend this to mean square so 64 divided by 2 will be 32 a procedure used for finding equation of a straight line which provides best approximation so this is called least square method in regression analysis variable that is being predicted is the y variable or the dependent variable independent variable is is used to predict the dependent variable correlation analysis is used to determine the strength of the relation between dependent and the dependent variable so this seems like best option regression and correlation analysis if r square equals 1 so when r square equals 1 there won't be any error term so in that case sse will be 0 basically the total sum of squares will be equal to sum of squares due to regression so coefficient of determination is r square which is ssr by sst ssr is 300 and sst will be 200 plus 300 500 r equals 0.8 so r square which is coefficient of determination will be 0.64 or 64 percent sum of squares due to error ssc can never be so it can never be larger than the total sum of squares or sum of squares due to total if coefficient of correlation is negative then coefficient of determination so coefficient of determination is r square so it cannot be negative it has to be positive it must be positive 
so sales in thousands price in dollars so increase of one dollar in price associated with decrease of eight dollars in sales because this is in thousands one dollar will mean actually eight times thousand so decrease of eight thousand dollars this is not correct this is not correct d is the correct answer so based on the above estimated equation if advertising is ten thousand so that means suppose this is x and this is y so this means x equals one zero zero then the point estimate for sales in this equation if you say y equals 500 plus 4 times 100 so you get 900 but this is in thousands so this 900 means 900 thousand if there is a very strong correlation between two variables then the coefficient of correlation must be larger than one it is never larger than one so r which is the coefficient of correlation is always between negative one and positive one much smaller than one so if it is very strong you cannot have much smaller any value larger than one so that is ruled out so this looks like correct answer so 90 divided by 3 is 30 120 divided by 20 6 so this is 5 how many groups have there been in this problem so because degrees of freedom is 3 so you have 4 groups what has been the total number of observations so if you add all the degrees of freedom you get 23 so this is one less than the total number of observations that means total observations would have been 24 14 experimental units were used for each of the five levels of the factors so 5 means 4 degrees of freedom and because there were 14 so 14 times 5 is 70 so this is 69 so this becomes 65 so now 800 times 4 is 3200 and then from the total you subtract 3200 you get 7400 so 7400 divided by 65 will give you 113.8 and then 800 divided by 113.8 will give you 7.03